So the, the most pressing question that I have is, do you ever eat junk food? No. <laughs> okay. I didn't think so, no. but you, you look so healthy. And uh, you know, have you always been this healthy in terms of how you eat and, and how you exercise and just everything? I have worked out all my life since I was 14 years old. Besides being a boy and doing soccer or other athletic stuff, I actually worked out. Uh, and then the diet, really the, the last 10, 15 years, gradually as I have learned more about things that you shouldn't put in your system, uh, been eliminating those steadily. And uh, so my diet has become really clean mm -hmm. simply just because I avoid certain things. And that's becoming more uh, part of your company too as you go forward, right? Right. What we've done in the last three, four years focused on eliminating hormones in the meat, antibiotics in the meat, eliminating high fructose corn syrup, bleached flour, processed sugars, uh, particularly artificial food coloring and preservatives. And by eliminating all those things, uh, you'll be amazed. It's only seven things, but we eliminate those things. Re literally almost everything becomes either natural or organic if they don't have one of those seven things in mm -hmm. it. Uh, it's usually, it's, you know, they kind of a bad things company each other and good things company each other, so it becomes a simple rule to follow. How important is that for the body to get to that point? Uh, you know, it's really important. If you are eating junk food, uh, fast food, things that have all those things in it, uh, a good detox for like three to five days uh, would be really helpful. But when you go through this detox, at night when you're sleeping, you break into sweat because your uh, liver is kicking back out, is getting finally the chance to kick back out all the stuff that's been piled up in there. Uh, and then, but if you do eat clean and then you go on a detox, you don't have the same dramatic effect from the detox, which basically tells you your body is much cleaner. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the world we, li we live now, and with the amount of people ending up with cancer in 50s, 60s, 70s, etc., uh, I think it's very important for people to take notice and eliminate those things that they can simply eliminate out of their diet. Mm -hmm. Great. What is a, a typical day like for you? Uh, typical day is I get up, uh, take my vitamins, take my shower, uh, get to work, and then um, I got to get some sort of a physical activity in, uh, usually at least four or five times a week. Mm -hmm. uh, then, you know, get home, spend a little time with my uh, young son, which I love dearly, and then go to bed and start again the next day. Yep. When you look back at the years with Lifetime, what was the, uh, the one point that you can look back at and think that was my most enjoyable moment thus far? Uh, well, there's been a lot of great moments. There's been some really tough hurdles to overcome. And uh, the ones that usually uh, stick to my mind are the times we really needed to make something big happen. And we had to make it happen and we did. Uh, you know, the critically, you know, there was two or three times we needed to get big financing mm -hmm. to keep the engine going at the crucial time. And then finally, the last uh, four years since the 2008 kind of economic meltdown, our decision to focus on quality uh, and not on price mm -hmm. has been something that I can go back time after time and say, deliver to the customer what they really care for and everything's going to take care of itself. Mm -hmm. Whether it's with your business or just when you've been working out, was there ever a moment where you, you had this thought just for a split second, man, I don't know if I can do this? And if, if so, what was that? Yeah. Well, uh, there, with, the, with the personal endeavors, you know, I do these extreme mountain bike rides, mm -hmm. like 100 miles or something. And, uh, you know, it, it's tough. And there are many times throughout, throughout a, uh, one of those rides, 100-mile mountain bike rides, where your body gets to the point that you feel like you really just, you, you feel like you're done. You don't have anything left. Mm -hmm. And uh, what has helped me is just know that if I keep pushing, that maybe in 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I feel different. And that, that has happened time after time. And in the business as well, you know, in 2008, we had some really tough times with the economy, with financing, personally, uh, with the business. 
uh, and a lot was going on. And I took my experience from those long mountain bike mm -hmm. rides and I just applied. I just put one foot in front of the other and just keep going and don't give up. And, uh, you know, eventually things will turn around mm -hmm. and uh, it works out. Right. Anything I should have asked you that I didn't? No, you absolutely have asked all the good <laughs> questions. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Thanks a lot. Thank you.